Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, the anti-choice crowd loves to talk about saving babies. They love to pretend that they care about babies. If you believe it, you're a fool. Take, for example, their attacks on Planned Parenthood. Now, Planned Parenthood does provide abortion services, but they also pro provide family planning, prenatal care, and postnatal care. Now, you got a state like Texas where hardly anybody has any insurance, a whole lot of people are dirt poor, and Planned Parenthood provides a whole lot of services to women, especially pregnant women. Now, who are those women going to turn to for help when they're pregnant? Rick Perry? They sure ain't going to get any help there. So if you take away the services Planned Parenthood provides, here's what's going to happen. You get no access to family planning, which results in more abortions. You get no prenatal care, which results in more stillbirths and deaths during childbirth, not only of the babies, but of the mothers as well. Lack of postnatal care results in more deaths of infants, toddlers, and children. And of course, even the ones that survive tend to have more problems with sickness. So you'll get an increase in children with both physical and mental problems. Lack of family planning also means more poverty more children growing up in poverty which means that they're less healthy their life expectancy is shorter their education is worse on and on and on and on now most of the anti-choice crowd know this but they don't care they really don't care if children die they just want them to die in a certain way that pleases their god so here's the truth. Rick Perry and all those Republican governors and legislators who are defunding Planned Parenthood, they are the baby killers. The, uh, the anti-abortion crowd must accept responsibility for every death that could have been prevented with proper care. They are the real baby killers and they should be treated like the murderers they are. Thanks for listening.